Hey gamers, this is Big Mac 1121. Thank you for joining me for my Let's Play Chrono Trigger. We're gonna watch the epic intro, and then we will start the gameplay. Alright, so there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the uh, intro for Chrono Trigger. As some hail as the greatest RPG of all time. Can't say that I disagree with that. party going on. Chrono! Chrono! Good morning, Chrono! Come on, sleepyhead, get up! Uh, Lean's Bell. It's such a beautiful music. You were so excited about the Millennial Fair that you didn't sleep well, did you? I want you to behave yourself today. Let's get moving now. By the way, that inventor friend of yours, uh, you know, oh dear, I've forgotten her name. 
We'll call her Luca. That's right, Luca. Don't forget that she invited you to see her new invention. Run along now, and be back before dinner. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your allowance, dear. Have fun at the fair. 200 gold. Hi. Do you know about our establishment? Nope. This is the Mayor's Education Center. Think of it as a beginner's work... Oh, excuse me. As a workshop for beginners. So you can take the things you find here. Need a brief weapons and items seminar? Yes. Weapons include swords, bows, and guns. Some weapons can only be used by specific party members. You find a variety of armor for the head and body. Finally, there are numerous accessories with unique properties and effects. As you gain power, swords will inflict greater damage. Bows and guns get more powerful as your hit rate increases. Alright, let's grab this. Got one tonic. Scattered throughout this world are places where you can save your game. Save wherever you can, especially in unfamiliar or dangerous areas. That's just a replica. Record your journey whenever you find the real McCoy. You'll find more of them in riskier areas. Also remember that you can log in anywhere on the world map. Talk to these kids. So you can walk while reading messages, but don't go too far, and you can miss out. Use the Y button to move the message slash battle window up or down. Do you know about shelters? They're quite useful. Nope. Use shelters at save points or on the world map to completely restore HP and MP. Alright. Let's go upstairs here. Alright, I'll teach you about skills. Are you willing to learn? Yes. During combat, the effect of a each attack can vary. First, some of your attacks will damage more than one enemy. For example, target this critter, and your attack will hit another monster in the area. But if you target this one, you can get all three at once. Use this fact to your advantage. Next, you can hit enemies in your direct line of sight. There are two attack patterns. The first one, allows you to attack all enemies oriented on a straight line from you. You may place the cursor on any one of them on the line. The other pattern allows you to hit only the enemies in a straight line between you and the target. As in the previous example, all three creatures are targeted here. But, select this one and that's all you will get. Next, use an enemy to establish a line, and any others on it will also be hit. They're lined up horizontally here. So you may target any of them. The final pattern puts you at the center of the attack zone. You can't use an attack like this if your enemies are outside of the zone. However, your attacks will hit all enemies inside the active zone. That's about it. Feel more confident? Want to learn about damage in battle? Yes. Some monsters have special attacks. Poison. HP, HP, HP slowly decreases. Your attacks are weakened. Slow. Increases the time between attacks. Sleep lowers your guard. A good hit will wake you up again. Chaos confuses you into attacking eyelines. A little tough on friendships. 
blind. You can't see too well. It's hard to hit enemies. Lock. Can't use any techniques. Stop. Immobilizes and disables you. In these situations, your guard is down and you'll sustain more damage. Use heal, or wait until the battle ends to heal automatically. Would you like to hear more? Yes. When your HP hits zero, you'll be disabled. Use revive to restore yourself, but if everyone goes down, you're through. Be careful. Hold down L and R buttons to escape from battle. Know when to run, but you need to fight to grow strong. Now, about the equip menu. Numbers next to the sword and shield icons indicate attack and defense power. The higher the number, the greater the power. M def indicates that your ability to block magic attacks. If it's 10, then magic damage will be reduced by 10%. A star after any characteristic means it's at maximum strength. Want my advice? Yes. You've got potential. You'll learn a number of techniques as you progress. Techniques are magic attacks that also utilize your weapons. You'll acquire them with discipline. My my, you're so enthusiastic. Use this to help you get started. A gift of 300 gold. This treasure chest with another 100 gold. Check out this fair finally. At Ling Square. Oof. Hey. Ouch, that hurt. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Uh-oh. My pendant. Oh no. Don't tell me I lost it. Over here to go get it. Oh, thank goodness. My pendant. It has a lot of sentimental value. May I have it back? Yes. I came to see the festival. You live in this town, don't you? I feel a little out of place here. Would you mind if I walked around with you for a while? Sure. You're a true gentleman. Oh, by the way, my name is... Er... We're gonna go with her uh, original name, which is, I believe, pronounced Marl. I don't know if it's Marl or Marley. I'll say Marley, just because that sounds better. Um, Marley, and you're? Chrono, what a nice name. Pleased to meet you. Now lead on. Alright, we got a bunch of games we can play here, so let's head down here. Earn some silver points. Press the A button while facing the bell. Judge your distance carefully and press the A button again. And boom. There we go. Impressive. I'll put one silver point on your card. That's a pretty basic game. 